Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, it's, um, a, you know, it took me a while to get this done because I have so many makeup products and I've been seeing a lot of beauty bloggers, you know, doing this Best of Beauty 2017 and I want to get, you know, get on it. So this is my 2017 um, Best of Beauty and um, if you want to see what I have on my collection, please stick around because it's going to be a fun and long video. is gonna be my um my tart the tart um tartaris pro from tart um other than that it smells great it smells like candy like you know chocolate <laughs> this has become one of my favorite like go-to palette right here other than it has beautiful colors easy to blend and um you know, it's like I, I can like reach on it. This has become one of my favorite palettes since I got it for Christmas. I cannot stop using it. This palette is amazing. And um, another one, another palette that uh, I do have on my collection, it will be the Morphe 25A Copper Spice, uh, Copper Spice Palette. This also have had it since it came out. I was able to get this on the third try because oh my god people thought it was a limited edition and ended up being not limited edition so I was like oh see that's how they get you okay now we're gonna move into primers I know you guys have heard me talk about this primer but this Too Faced Hangover primer it's amazing I cannot live without this product I cannot stop using this product I cannot leave my house without using this product. Uh, I bought this like three months ago and um, I have used it little by little only on special occasions because I don't want to, you know, it was expensive. I don't want to, you know, finish using that primer. And we have this City Color uh, Glowing Complexion Illuminating Cream. I got this from Hush.com and um, I mix this with my favorite foundation and it looks nice. It looks really nice. My skin glows beautifully and um, I don't think I have tried it on camera or take a picture with it but this product is, is a must. If you haven't bought this product you should get it because it's amazing. It looks beautiful. Um, we're gonna go with the uh, setting sprays and I have this Milani Make It Last setting spray. Uh, when it first came out it was hard for me to get, get this product I went everywhere and I couldn't find it so I finally found it at Walmart uh, by a friend so I was like you know what you need to get it for me so I got it and um, I, I don't use it that much because I'm afraid that I'm gonna run out so that's why I don't use it that much and then we have the elf aqua primer mist I barely got this on a haul from a Walmart haul and all the time it smells amazing it doesn't budge my makeup and it's true it makes it last all day so that's primers and then another product that I cannot live without is the LA Girl Pro Concealer Green Corrector as you guys can see I'm a tomato and um, I have to use this in order for my skin to look not like a tomato <laughs> So I use this and it removes my red cheeks and uh, it, it looks like I don't have any red marks right here but that's it. Another product from e.l.f. it's the e.l.f. the brown in color espresso. I barely got this product and then I put, I put it on and people were saying that my eyebrows look amazing with this product so another product that I can't live without so that's it. And then we have the Clean Color Brush Tox Bilumizing Mascara. All the time it smells like green apple. That smells really good. And um, 
my strawberries and palmas my um, eyelashes and they look beautiful and um can live without this product so if i run out of course i'm gonna go back to hashtag.com and get it um concealers i have talked about these two concealers it's the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer from Cookie Cosmetics and the Milani uh, Retouch in Erase Lift Light Lifting Concealer other than the applicator this this concealer makes it perfect also that too I mean doesn't crease, doesn't crack it looks like I have um, how can I say this it, it looks like a have a filter on like a snapshot filter but it's not really it um shadow primers it's um smashpack 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer can i live without this product and then we're gonna go with um foundations it i have a lot of milani products i mean that brand is amazing it's a concealer perfect and then we have the precision formula um i think it's called bare skin but I like the packaging look at the packaging it's rose gold that's what caught my attention and other than it's i can't live without this foundation um feels like you have no foundation at all that's how nice it is so this is how the best foundation i have ever tried and then we're gonna go with the um, bronzers so I have this bronzer from uh, Wet n Wild. You guys can see I hit pan. Look at that. I already hit pan. And ah, the little brush, the Coco contour. Other than it smells amazing. It smells like Coco. It's beautiful. There you go. And the little brush that comes with it has a little rose gold bow in it. And um. I only use, I've been using this one right here and the little shimmer so you guys can put it on there you go and you're going, you're perfect foundations, <laughs> this is new, it's from Maybelline well new to my collection, it's Maybelline and then we have Palladio that's how, I don't know if it's used it like that but it's rice powder in natural Oh, I think I forgot, but I didn't mention that this is another, you know, from Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer, Foundation Primer. And then we're gonna go with the um, uh, brushes. brushes. These are all my favorite brushes. Uh, we have some brushes from Profusion that I use for foundation or bronzer. And then we have this morphe for fan brush for, that i use for my highlighter and then we have a wet and wild oh no sorry <laughs> elf bronzing brush and then we have some blended brushes we have some from wet and wild uh, we have some from morphe e28 and then we have some i use this for um the corners of my eyes and then we have some another blending brush and for foundation and let's not mention that I use a for foundation I use a lot of um, sponges so we have this one from Anise Cosmetics and I use this one and I have different sponges for concealer foundation and uh, and then also we have this uh, lip stains we have this one from Anise Cosmetics Morphe, um, Urban Decay that I got this on my Sephora play box, and then we have this other one for my knees. Uh, this one, so they look beautiful on the skin. Um, you can do everything and they don't come off, that's why they have become one of my favorite products of the year. Um, big shout out to Annie's for making the best lipsticks that I have ever worn. Um, if you guys haven't tried them out, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check them out. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe. If you like to see more videos, 
Don't forget to click the notification bell right here so you guys can get more notifications of when I post a new video. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and WordPress. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Bye.